It was exactly one year ago now that a high-profile crime in the tiny town of Delphi stunned the entire state and the country. In fact, best friends Abby Williams and Libby German were murdered while walking in the woods, and that case is still unsolved a year later. Our Rich Van Wyck is live tonight with more on how this community remains very unsettled. Rich. Andrea, these murders have shaken some of the core values, small town values of Delphi. People here tell me life is different, things have changed. To find out just how much and what's changed, we went to the Garden Gate Cafe, a place where people come to share a meal, share their thoughts with the owner. Wanted posters are part of Delphi's landscape. A year later, the face of a killer and his horrible crime still haunt this community still just makes me sick to my stomach. It just makes my heart heavy. Denise Strasser talked with me over coffee in the small restaurant she owns on the Courthouse Square. Did you think we'd be sitting here a year later still talking about this crime? No way. No way. People who hugged and cried after hearing the news that Abby and Libby were found murdered are still hurting. I think that somberness is still there. That fear is still there. In a community where violent crime is rare, people now lock their doors and their cars and they no longer walk alone. So I hear those things, which makes my heart really sad because our community, it's still a great community, but it has changed. Some of the small town trust that was part of Delphi has been replaced by suspicion. When I see a man that I've not seen before, I'm looking two or three times to see if there's any way he resembles the sketch that law enforcement released. Abby Williams and Libby German were abducted while walking the abandoned Monon High Bridge just outside of town. One year, 30,000 leads and 1,000 potential suspects later, investigators appear no closer to making an arrest. You and I Every morning, understand. Denise says she checks her smartphone for news of a break in the case. You know, Rich, I think the majority of our community is completely and utterly confident that it's going to be solved. Um, it may not be today, it might not be tomorrow, it, it may be in the future, but we have the utmost confidence in our law enforcement that it's going to be solved. This sign went up just this afternoon, never forgotten, Libby and Abby. I talked to the grandparents and the parent of Libby and Abby to find out what they think about this case, and they're very confident it will be solved as well. We're going to hear their story, a year-long story, coming up at 6 o'clock. And, Rich, before you go tonight, what are police now saying about this case a year and a day later? Well, since, this, since the anniversary news started making the news, since last night they've received 300 new tips. They're being checked out by police officers. They anticipated calling in as many as two, do two dozen extra investigators to handle these new tips. All right, Rich Van White reporting live tonight. Thank you from Delphi. And if you know anything, anything at all that could help solve the murders of Libby and Abby, police do want to hear from you. You can call the tip line anonymously. The number is right there on your screen, 844 Four five nine five seven eight six. We have that number posted along with a tip email address at WTHR.com and on the WTHR app.